Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a massive RC parts mailbag. I've been putting this off for a while, as you can tell. Tons of pieces arrived, uh, one big model, another kind of big model. I think I'll break this up into a couple of parts. We've had a quick look at some of them already. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look and see what's in the boxes. First off, I wanted to show this. I got uh, a poster tube in the mail that I didn't order. And this awesome letter from Flight Test showed up thanking me for being part of the FT Extras program, which ended up not working out as much as they thought it would. But I didn't pay for this or request it. And in the, in the poster tube, I got a fully autographed flight test poster. Totally neat. I, I, this blew me away. The flight test guy is simply awesome. And that's what I have in this box. We'll go ahead and open this one. I did purchase this with my own money. Ordered it from Great Hobbies out of Canada because they are a flight test dealer. If you haven't checked out the Flight Test YouTube channel and web pages, you really should. Amazing bunch of guys building foam board aircraft. Truly, truly amazing what they do. Okay, we're in. Inside the box. Hopefully, we have my order. Some various servo horns and props. Handy stuff. The Blunt Nose Versa conversion, really, really nice. Push rods, definitely want to use flight test. And the flight test Versa wing. I made the last one from scratch. You maybe saw the videos on the channel, but I decided, hey, it's time to support flight test. Grab one that I don't have to cut out because my old one is getting pretty beat up. It's pretty soft. I'll do some videos on this. This we're going to convert to hopefully a fully autopilot controlled uh, scout search and rescue wing. Really excited. I love the Versa platform. It is an amazing wing. This box. Pretty obvious what's in it. This is the Zephyr V70 uh, EDF glider. I've already owned one of these in the past. It's an amazing, amazing aircraft. I ended up selling it to uh, my buddy, Mr. Zierman, who ended up having a rapid unscheduled disassembly due to a tree impact. I decided to buy another one so we could fly together once he gets his fixed. Quick look inside the box. We have the Zephyr EDF packaged in here. I won't go into the build of this right now. I think we'll uh, get this on another video. We'll make sure we've got all of our parts and we'll go through the instructions again. This is a really easy build. Uh, really awesome, awesome aircraft. Hence the reason I bought it a second time. The sound that this thing makes is just incredible. Move things over to the bench here so we can get a little better look at stuff. First on the top, this one, super cool, a glue stick, but it runs on battery. I looked at converting one and it simply was not worth the effort to try and convert the heater element over to something that would work on a three cell LiPo. This was from Hobby King, almost all of this stuff's from Hobby King. Uh, really impressive little device. I'm gonna convert this over to a Dean's plug later and we'll give it a try. Next up. This was a package from eBay, and in it is hopefully, yeah, a whole pile of 9 gram servos. You can't have too many of these cheap 9 gram servos. They're not the best, but they're definitely not horrible either. They do work. Uh, at the price you get them from uh, China Direct, unbelievable deal. Really good. Another box from eBay. I don't have the info on this, I'm sorry. These are a remote switcher for running LEDs. There should be two of them, hopefully. Yes. Uh, a standard JST connector hooks into a channel on your radio. Focus. Hooks into a channel on the radio and you can control, uh, I forget the amperage, I'll throw it on the screen. You can definitely control LEDs and various other things with them. Uh, these will be on the new Blunt Nose Versa for uh, my strobe lights. 
New battery pack. This is a, a Venom 2400 3 cell LiPo. This is for my TH9X transmitter. I got two of these. Really, really cheap from Amazon. I uh, couldn't go wrong. Good, good transmitter pack. Whole bunch of stuff in this box. Most of it was from Hobby King. These are the Turnigy 9 gram Metal Gear servos. Let's see if we can get one out of here. As opposed to the plastics, these are a full Metal Gear servo. Uh, work really, really well. I have had no problems with them. The resolution tends to be a tiny bit low on some of them, but overall, I'm really impressed with how they work. Uh, it's worth it to have a little more reliability. FPV video cameras. I didn't have much luck with my El Cheapo units, so these are the ones I replaced them with. These are the 800 TV line board camera. I have already tried one of these and mounted it in my Versa. I am thoroughly impressed with how these function. It is an incredible little board camera. Quite cheap, reasonable price, does not come with a case. And I had a hard time finding a case for this particular unit. I did order from Great Hobbies at the same time this one, and it didn't fit. Uh, I was able to make it fit though fairly well. I ended up having to cut out the lens area to fit the barrel and uh, do a little creative work on it, but I'm sure I can design something up on the 3D printer. The other mated one to this is in the Versa already. This one will go on the EPP FPV and uh, or maybe on the new Versa. I'm not sure which. Depends. But uh, super impressed with it. The low light capability is really good. I don't have a video up on the channel of this yet. Uh, I apologize for that. Next up. Ah. This is the head tracker from Hobby King. Really cool device. I wanted to give a try. I wanted to try head tracking for the camera. I do have pan and tilt on my camera, and this allows me to hook into my TH9X transmitter and use this uh, multiple axis accelerometer uh, mounted to my goggles to head track and tilt the camera. I'll do a demo on this coming up, but I'm not sure how it's gonna work. We're gonna give it a try. Finally, this is also from Hobby King. I just had to order one because of the price. This is their FPV goggles, the dirt cheap bottom of the barrel ones. I couldn't believe the price they are selling these for. It's just foam, basic, basic foam. But in the package, you get an awesome little LCD screen. For the price you pay for the goggles, you can't buy this LCD screen. If nothing else, I'll be able to use this with a Raspberry Pi project or something else. Uh, I probably actually won't use it for the goggles, but we'll see. I thought it would be really nice to have a second pair of goggles sitting at my ground station and use the auxiliary video out so other people can watch as I'm flying, as well as I do have on the ground station an LCD that anyone can watch, but the goggles, they offer a little bit different. That is the mailbag for today. Please consider giving a thumbs up down below or share this video if you like it. Check out my Patreon campaign linked below if you'd like to support the channel. Really appreciate all the videos and comments you guys put out. I learn a lot from everything you guys do. See you next week.